Hello everyone, my name is Pew Pew Choo Choo, and today we will be taking a look at another beta lock and load Heroes of Stalingrad uh, scenario. This time we actually have a choice between playing as the Germans uh, versus playing as the Soviet Union, and I feel like this time we will be uh, playing as the Soviet Union. So, uh, let's begin. Well, we are playing a fairly small scenario, it's titled A Simple Task, and it's a fairly st straightforward uh, meeting engagement set inside a small uh, Russian village, and the sole objective for this scenario is just simply taking victory uh, hexes. Uh, starting off from the top, we have one victory hex located inside this tile, the wooden build building in front of uh, these two um, fields. We have the middle of the map, the three hexes inside the very center of the little village, and we have the bottom forested tile down here right next to what I presume is like a little uh, logging camp building type of thing. Um, so playing as the Russians inside the scenario, it's a little different than what the Germans have. Uh, for one, you might notice that we have an absolute ton of infantry and one armored vehicle uh, as opposed to the Germans over here. Like, well, the Germans are starting inside this uh, section of the map and they start off with two armored vehicles two commanders, however, significantly less infantry. Uh, my plan is to just kind of take control of the center of the map where our infantry can really dominate them um, by destroying their armored vehicles inside close combat. So to start that off, let's move the commissar, our commander, or our officer, and his, uh, his squad of troopers armed with a DP-28 machine gun over here to control this uh, little road setup. It looks like we've already found the uh, the German forces. They have a half track right here and an infantry squad right there. Uh, since they have that half track position right at that um, at this little road junction right here, I might as well move one of our um, our Molotov troops is up here. So then we can kind of ambush them with a Molotov later on. I'll move some more infantry over there. However, there might be a chance of him going down into this uh, bottom little row, you know, taking a turn uh, down this alleyway. And to just kind of counter that, I guess we'll move the other Molotov equipped squad down here. Let's try to get him moving over here. And I think that'll conclude our first impulse. This game uses quite an elaborate uh, turn-based system where uh, one game turn is split up into many turns where it's like most of the combat and the, and the fast-paced action kind of happens in these mini turns and uh, the game's is larger sections or uh, things happen on full turns. So for example on these like mini turns you can move your uh, vehicles and you know you can shoot at them However, uh, if one of these uh, vehicles, uh, for example, are shot at, they may uh, become shaken. Let's see if any damage actually comes to, um, if we do any damage to these SD-222. And it looks like, uh, well, it looks like we should, we've, uh, we've turned, we've done some morale damage to the squad. However, we didn't necessarily eliminate or even damage the vehicle. So this. SDKFC222 is shaken. It can't fire and it can only move in the opposite direction of enemy troops. Now that unit might will, will have the opportunity to rally itself on uh, or when the turn count becomes uh, turn 2 out of 6. For now let's continue, move some of our infantry up, finish off that impulse. So. Uh, generally speaking, we can only move one uh, stack of hexes or of units per turn unless we move the commander first, which will, uh, if we move the commander or any of the units around the commander, I believe, it'll give us that benefit of being able to move the adjacent units as we did there um, during the first of our impulse uh, mini turns, as I like to call them. Well, it looks like we moved all of our units, so we just have to wait until the Germans finish theirs. And it looks like, uh, well, it looks like it's turn two now. Um, so it looks like we've won the initiative, so we so we get the first impulse. Um, the rally kicks in. It looks like their armored car is rallied. Uh, however, it doesn't get the opportunity to shoot because it is not their impulse turn. 
Well, it looks like we have the chance of um, knocking out this vehicle, so we will actually fire upon it and see if we hit and do any damage. Did we do anything? Nope. Oh well, no, we did do something. It looks like um, we managed to get, we managed to do so much morale damage to the enemies' uh, troops over here that it actually managed to make the crew bail out. Um, so that's good. And then as soon as that finished, the Germans get to have their impulse turn. So uh, inside their little mini turn, it looks like they decided to move up their uh, half track over here. Uh, right into the sights of our um, anti-tank squad act, or anti-vehicle squad, so we're actually going to get them to fire onto that vehicle with their uh, little anti-tank rifle. Let's see if that does any damage. Might have. Probably didn't. Oh, oh wow, it looks like we've uh, actually taken that out. So that's pretty good. That's actually a really good start to this scenario, but uh, we had to do, we had to take in mind that this is a fairly small sized uh, scenario. So with the armored vehicles gone, I'm going to send two of my squads over here onto um, that little corner of the map. I want to kind of take um, one of these victory hexes. Um, did the Germans do any damage to our troops? Looks like they did a little bit of damage. Well no, they just shut them up a little bit. That's not that bad. Okay, so that kind of finishes the first little section here. Um, now that that's done, let's try to move towards the middle of the map here. So let's put some more infantry inside here. Our squads here are going to take uh, some fire, some reactionary fire from uh, moving into that little stone house. But it should be fine because they did move into a building, so they probably did. Yeah, they didn't suffer any type of damage, whether physical or morale. Uh, they should be fine. Well, it looks like the Germans are going for this little uh, house, F, like tile F5. It's one of the victory hexes inside the middle here, which actually has a house, uh, which is, you know, fairly good cover. Um, since, well, I guess that's a pretty good idea. So I'm actually going to try to move for that as well. I'm going to use my, uh, my commissar here and his squad. They have a movement bonus for moving together. If I only move the infantry squad, they only have four movement points. And if I move uh, with the commissar, he has six move, uh, movement points. Um, the commissar, where the leader is going to move there, it's going to block the um, the Axis troops over here. So um, that's pretty good. And since both of their armored... Oh, never mind. It looks like our... BA-6 has fired and cannot move, forgot about that, but oh well, Germans win the initiative this time. Uh, we don't really know what they did because it looks like they moved some hidden units around. So first and foremost, let's move this unit back here, this shaken squad. Pass up that opportunity to shoot that squad, or no. It looks like the Germans are moving one of their squads equipped with the MG-34, a fairly deadly weapon, and two of their commanders. We can use uh, Ivanovich's squad armed with the DP-28 uh, to shoot at this uh, group of soldiers and potentially uh, take out their commanders, or we can kind of shoot at the adjacent tile with its bonus and try to suppress those uh, infantry squads. Huh. Well, it looks like, yeah, I'm probably going to pass that opportunity because, in all honesty, it's not all that, uh, it's not that valuable. With the BA-6 here, I'm actually going to get the BA-6 to put a cannon round inside this, um, this little house now that they've moved up. Because it's, uh, well, it's less risky, so let's see if that did any damage, no effect. Shook up one of their commanders, did no damage to the squad. And no hero generation. You can generate some heroes, some unique individuals with some unique abilities, um, but it looks like that didn't do much. Machine gun rounds go through as well, did a little bit of damage, so it looks like we've shaken up some of their units right there. 
Um, well, now that that's done, let's move up these two squads and let's move them to C7, which is another uh, victory location. They really like moving up their troops into uh, this little uh, road junction here, so we're actually going to put some more uh, fire onto them. Hmm. Here, I think I'm going to pass up the opportunity to fire because, well, we don't really need to. Mm, actually, yeah, they're, they're moving fairly close. I was kind of expecting that squad right here to move uh, in the direction of the church. So let's see if that uh, that shakes them up, and it looks like that does a, sh a little bit of damage. And we're going to put a few more shots into this uh, large cluster of troops and try to do a lot of damage. And I'd say that was a fairly good attempt. We did uh, definitely shook them up pretty well and caused them to lose a few of their troops. And next turn, so turn number four. They're going to try to rally their troops. And they might rally. However, the rest of the troops don't get to rally because they're not uh, they're not near commander. Okay. Well, now that, um, now that they're moving their units here and here, I'm trying to figure out what is a good path to take. I'm going to move my troops over here, uh, try to bait out some of their fire, because I kind of want to get Lieutenant Wurtz's infantry, this large German stack, to shoot at one of my troops first. Um, because most of their infantry is already shaken up uh, pretty well. So if we can just simply get them to waste their fire uh, movements, then we should be fine. But it looks like we couldn't, so we're going to put some fire onto this uh, squad over here. We're right next to them, so we get an adjacency bonus. Does that take them out? Nope. Fortunately, that doesn't. So with that, we're going to get this squad to uh, try to take down this shaken uh, group of infantry. Hopefully that takes them out. Does a little bit of damage, and that should be fine for now. Yeah, now that that unit's shaken, it can't move forward anymore, so it's gonna, uh, it's going to have to retreat to where their leadership is, which is uh, Lieutenant Wurtz and the the uh, I believe captain over there. Put some more fire onto them. Always have to gain that fire superiority. Shake them all up. Do some more damage, and there we go. I'm not necessarily sure if um, vehicle crews can actually re. Um, I'm not sure if they can actually reman their vehicles. Haven't seen that. Uh, haven't seen that happen yet. Get up. So uh, looks like another turn ended. They fly very pretty fast, um, and it looks like we're gonna rally some more of their troops. And it's just two leaders. Don't know what that infantry squad is doing. Oh, it looks like uh, what that what just happened there was that um, if we if we move our infantry squads into each other, I'll actually demonstrate that right now. We essentially go into a, a melee mode. Now, when you go into this uh, melee mode with shaken infantry or pinned down infantry, um, those units are automatically excluded from the fight. Uh, so, if I actually enter that type, in, if I enter that hex, our units go into this uh, type of melee mode. Well, it looks like we already have three victory hexes needed to just kind of finish off this scenario. So, we're just going to try to stop the Germans from taking their 
from taking the other victory hexes and observe what happens uh, during this little brawl that'll come out of this uh, tech, this uh, little hex. No, I don't want to fire on them. Get these troops to actually move up here. And I'll get these troops to just kind of close the gap and really put some pressure onto them. Come on, man. For Come Germany. On, man. Let's get them, boys. Hmm. <laughs> The uh, the crew for the vehicle is actually active. I'm rather surprised that um, actually does that. Um, okay, the melee here didn't really turn out as I had expected, so I'm actually going to put some more troops. Yeah, there we go. Now it actually commences. That was rather weird. Um, so we're going to start a melee. You know, we have five firepower to their one. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, they're gonna lose some infantry, our infantry, all of our infantry survive, and theirs go down into a brawl. Um, overall, I would say that that is pretty much the end of this scenario. We're just gonna let them flee. Don't need to waste the bullets trying to kill all of their soldiers. And well, that's that. That is the scenario. I hope to see you guys next time where we check out a slightly larger scenario. Um, or maybe one with a unique task uh, or a unique set of victory conditions. Anyways, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.